This is going to be a weird episode because we're now here with episode three of No Money Spent. And speaking of number three, we're in season three. And this is super exciting with the new season because first of all, we have a bunch of new season rewards. And finally, the first Pink Diamond card is available being Pink Diamond Jimmy Butler. But the reason this is a weird episode is because we're going to start in season three and then we're going to go back to my old recording in season two because trust me, you guys just have to see it. But the main reason I need to show the content in season three was because 2K dropped these 20 5th Anniversary Deluxe Packs. And these packs contain players such as Diamond, Russell Westbrook, Rudy Gay, Luol Deng, Danny Ferry, Nick Young, and so many other great players. That first of all, I quickly went through the skill challenges and was able to do all three of these, which gave me a 25th Anniversary Base Pack and a Deluxe Pack. So you know what? First of all, let's do the Base Pack. I'm not expecting too much out of this just because the Base Packs don't have the best odds but you never know. Let's open it up and see. Yeah, no shake. We do get an emerald though. Can it be taco maybe? It's Bobo. I'll take that. Now this is the one I need something good out of. The deluxe pack. This is huge. It could hit us with a diamond. It could hit us with an amethyst or it could be absolutely nothing, but let's open it up and let's see if this pack can be crazy for us. Please 2K, hit us with something crazy. Shake for me. No shake. What is it? It's going to be like a sapphire, I reckon even an emerald. Is it going to be Bol Bol? It's Taco. I mean, that's a bit of an L out of that pack, but that's not us done. 2K also released this 25th anniversary equal chance pack. You can only open up one of them and it's 25,000 MT, but basically in this pack, you can pull one of the 25th anniversary cards. And the reason it's an equal chance is because you have the same chance of pulling this emerald Bol Bol as you do this diamond Westbrook. And for 25,000 MT, I feel like it's worth the punt. So I don't really know what else to say. 25K is quite a bit to spend on this account, but but I have to do it. I have to do it. There's a chance we get Westbrook. There's a chance we get Rudy Gay. So please 2K, hit me with the luck. Let's open it. I just want something high, like an Amethyst. An Amethyst would be crazy. And oh my word, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my word. That is not what we want. That's by far the worst thing we can get, especially because we've already got it. I mean, at least it's auctionable, I'm pretty sure. So it sells for 7,500. Like, oh guess I'll take it. And now that's the end of that pack. I really came into this thinking, oh my word, I could get Westbrook. Could get something like that. No, that didn't happen. Anyway, I know it's weird. But that's all I really wanted to show from season three. So uh, let's go to past Angus in season two. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. So first of all, you may already know, but 2K released this Thanksgiving event where after each win in my team, you're able to get yourself a Thanksgiving pack. And your goal is to be able to get all of these food pieces because once you get all 15 of them, you can lock in for one free diamond card. So off camera, I played quite a few games with Triple Threat offline and we were able to get every single piece because you can see these option packs right here. So yes, we've got a diamond card incoming. But also while I was doing that, I decided to buy this Emerald Jared Vanderbilt and the reason for it is only 13,860 MT, but the card evolves into a diamond. And the evolution does take quite a while, but look at this, we have done it. We went from an Emerald to a Sapphire to a Ruby to an Amethyst. And now finally, we've got the final evolution being from Amethyst to Diamond. So the final evolution was actually quite difficult to get the blocks and the steals, but if we hold this, we're going to be adding a new diamond card towards the squad. And just like that, Jared Vanderbilt, the diamond version, bang, let's get it. The 92 overall, welcome to the squad. Me, now, this was the team that we ended with the last episode, but now I think we should move Jabari Smith Jr. to the bench. And then, yes, put in diamond Jared Vanderbilt as our starting power forward. Just like that on our no money spent account, we've got two diamonds in the starting lineup, but I want to make it three. But I have to show you one more thing before we complete this mural because 2k also released a locker code you can see it right here thanksgiving event in my team and once we put it in the mt goes up by 25,000, and also it gave us three thanksgiving packs and then i was like okay let's open these up and see what we're able to get i got so lucky because first one up let's flip it food piece number two of the thanksgiving pack out of the locker code guess what another bronze let's get it another food piece and then finally we went three from three and got another one so then i did play a few more games and we we're able to get 10 out of 15 but then when you get duplicates of them you're able to put them in the exchange and get the thanksgiving option pack so we've got so many of these which means finally if we open these up and select the right cards we're actually going to be able to get ourselves our diamond player and it's a random diamond player so we don't know who it is but there are so many amazing diamonds in the game like pascal siakam Giannis, even like kevin durant and players like that 
it would be crazy if we're able to pull someone along those lines. As let's get our leg of ham. Fun fact, I think ham is like my favorite meat, actually. I, oh, well, actually, I don't know about that. It's my favorite one to just snack on. Like, I just love ham. But what is this? Like, roast potatoes or something? It is so weird to think that we're just collecting food pieces and food items in NBA 2K24. But it's really making me hungry. I actually really feel like food after looking at all this. But what's the final piece we need? We need these. Do you guys call them biscuits? I think Americans call these, like, biscuits or something. I don't know. It looks like bread to me. But just like that, we've got everything needed to get our unsellable diamond player pack. So now it's time to come down and it's time to actually lock this in. I can't believe we've done it and we're getting another diamond card. So let's lock it in for the diamond player pack. And now it's actually time to open it up. Let's see if we can get something good. Be sure to smash that like button before I open it though, as trust me, it will give me some better luck. Anyway, Angus, I need a base drop. Let's open this up. And first of all, we know it's a diamond. We know it's a diamond, so we don't have to get too hyped about that, but we love seeing the diamond animation. This is where we need to get most excited though, because it's time to flip it and see which diamond it's gonna be. Please be a good one. Please be good center, not bad. Joel Embiid, it is Joel Embiid. I knew it. It's one of the more like not really exciting ones. He's not bad though, and definitely will be a good card on the team. Like he goes instantly into my starters. I cannot be mad with this card. And to think we got him for 100% free, I'm pretty happy with that. So Embiid, welcome to the team. So now I guess we can move Carl Anthony Towns to the bench. And then we can just casually put in Diamond Joel Embiid. Look at these starters now, my word. Then off camera, I did go through and do the Majestic challenges, which were just these two skills skill challenges right here and it gave us a free majestic deluxe pack then i also did all six of the majestic spotlight challenges which gave us another majestic deluxe pack so yes we've got them in our unopened packs we've also got a majestic base pack which we got from the spotlight challenges so it's not too bad maybe it could hit us with something good it's very low odds and it hits us with a gold. Not what we want. But now it's time for the deluxe packs. I could not tell you how badly I want to see a shake out of just one of these. Please, 2K, hit me with something crazy. Shake for me. It's a ruby. A ruby's definitely not bad at all. We'll take that. And who is it? It's going to be Danny Manning. You know what I got to do. Shout out Handy Manny. So a ruby out of the first one, definitely not too bad. Next one up, shake for me. Please, shake. No shake, unfortunately. Is it going to be like another ruby or something? It's a gold card. That's not what we want. You can actually get diamonds out of these Thanksgiving packs. It is so unlikely though, but let's see what we get out of this one. A silver, it's a wood leaves ball. But there's one more thing I want to do in this episode. If we come over to my season agendas, you can see here we have an agenda for Showtime Anthony Davis. And all you have to do is win one game of every single mode. So I've done all the offline ones. Now all I have to do is triple threat online, online co-op, clutch time online, unlimited, and salary cap. Then we get ourselves a free Amethyst Anthony Davis. So you guys are going to come along the ride with me and we're going to play every single one of these games on camera to be able to hopefully get ourselves that Amethyst Anthony Davis. And I tell you what, with this team, I feel like we can do it, but there's just one more player I want to get. And I never usually buy players on this account, but he just looks crazy. People are saying he's like the best card in the game. And for 84,000 MT, I know it's a lot, but I want to pick up this Michael Beasley. I know it's so expensive. It is so expensive, but 84k, Michael Beasley, welcome to the team. Now we can move Cam Whitmore to the bench. And yes, we can put in Michael Beasley as our starting small forward. This team is insane. Like what? We've got D-Wade, Kyle Corver, Michael Beasley, Jared Vanderbilt, and Joel Embiid as our starters. And then not to mention the bench is pretty cracked too. For a no money spent account, episode three, I'm pretty happy with it. So first things first, I want to play Triple Threat online with this team right here. We need to just win one game. So without further ado, let's get to it. And my opponent definitely has a good team with Shea Gilgis Alexander just casually there and Terry Dishinger, this dude is a grinder, but it's time to give it to Michael Beasley. He's our new pickup. He's also got Chris Bosch, which is definitely a scary card, but we can get past him. Here we go. Kyle Korver. I need it. He made it. And I am certainly not playing the best game I've ever played, but D-Wade this time, give me the lead now. Beasley, I need you to hit a three for me or something. I need someone to get a three for me. I need just uh, maybe the Kyle Korver show. Maybe back out to D-Wade this time. It's against Shea Gilgis Alexander. It's a tough take, but D-Wade can do it anyway. The only issue is, is this Kyle Korver just can't defend. I tell you what, he can do though. He can shoot. Give me that. Oh yeah, we get a stop here and we could finish the game off right here. So D-Wade this time. Nah, let's not take that. Let's give it a, uh, that's a terrible pass. It's fine though. You know what? It all works out because we've got the Kyle Corver 3 incoming for the game. Kyle Corver back out to you. Let's get a screen. Let's get a pick and fade, pick and roll. Kyle Corver for the game. Let's get it. There's the triple threat online game done. And we beat a beastly team too. We also leveled up. We get two tokens. Nice. But most importantly, we won the triple threat online 
game. And now I'm going to play clutch time online with this team right here. Obviously, this is crazy. This is our starters, but I want to see how they can actually play. And I haven't played one game of clutch time online on this account. So let's hope we can get a dub. And without further ado, let's get to it. And my opponent's team is filled with amethyst, but can our diamonds carry us? We've got Jared Vanderbilt. We've got our boy Joel Embiid on the first possession too. He'll get us the slam. What a block there by our boy Dwayne Wade. And now, yes, I'm looking at, I guess, Dwayne Wade again. Now back to Jared. Jared on Paolo Bancaro. Should be able to take this down low and should be able to get that easy lay. What a block again. That's back-to-back -back blocks on back-to-back -back possessions. Now, we've got Kyle Culver wide open for the four. And he got it to go. It's actually a three. Yep, I knew he was going to make the pass too. Jared Vanderbilt gets the steal for us. Back out to Dwayne Wade for the three ball. I think you guys can tell our defense has been extremely good. My opponent hasn't scored a single point and we've got 15. I actually wasn't too sure how I felt about Embiid at first, but now that I think about it, he's a beast for us. Just to be able to have the kind of player that we can just go, yep, he's going to be a great center and a great defensive player for us for a very long time in this team. I feel like is such a win. So, Jared Vanderbilt, you're another one of those players. Can Embiid hit threes? I don't really know his release. Oh yeah, I do. And I think you guys can tell my defense was pretty good in this game, given my opponent only scored seven points and we had 24. That's a huge win with this new squad. Let's go. Okay, we can get some MT after our win. But most importantly, winner clutch time online game is now done. And we're gonna play salary cap with this team right here. If I'm being honest, this team sucks, but we just need to win one game. And I'm hoping we can get it done the first time so come on salary cap squad you got this it's now that time let's get into the game man i've been struggling in salary cap i've lost the last two games i haven't shown them i know i've just hated this this looks better though show me yeah i'm happy i'm happy if i lose to this team i know i am the big issue like there is no chance that i am losing this please angus so let's just get this dub and let's play well and make sure to get the salary cap game over because yes i've lost the last two it's quite embarrassing chris paul has absolutely killed me by how bad he's been and how many times he's been blocked but maybe this time starting out with the steal starting out with the wide open three that he gets to is on fire oh Oh yeah, Angus, look at his team and laugh and go, oh yeah, this is an easy win. And then now you're down by five. What are you doing? Make it three. No, two. Okay, now we've got the wide open three. Wait for it. Here it is. We got it. Okay, Kyle Korver, make that one for me. I think my opponent's like a park player or something because he is actually unreal at his releases and he is making everything. But here we go with Kyle Korver and you guys see the dangerous thing that he has takeover. And I'm telling you, this is the reason it's dangerous. Bang. We've got a goal player guarding us. I literally should just be able to pass it out to him and shoot it straight away and it should drop. I know I'm up by five right now, but I got to give so much credit to my opponent. He's actually a great player and making this game a lot more difficult than what I thought it was going to be. Kyle Korver again though. I mean, hopefully you can now see why all I wanted was take over with Kyle Korver because he now has 22 points and it really is just this duo. I know I said CP3 wasn't great, but he has been quite good this game. He's been getting me so many assists to this man right here. It is only an eight point game though. So Kyle Korver will make it 11. And what about we game trail back and then make it 14? Yes, sir. This is literally so so much more of what I expected to have happen. Um, just us pull so many threes with that man right there. Let's go. We're into the second half. The set score is so high. It's at 61 and it's all thanks to Kyle Corver. Corver this time, you've got so many points for us and he's getting the assist there. All I want to do is get takeover with him just once more and then the game will be over. This will help right there. And let's finish this off. Let's pull this three, finish it off. Kyle Corver gets it to go. Tell you what, I think you can see who was MVP of this game. And what's our reward? Let's see. Open the door. 200 125 MT. Most importantly though, we finally got that salary cap win. Now it's time for Unlimited. Obviously this is our team. It looks so good. Except for Jabari Smith Jr. getting injured and now we have to add an injury card to him. Sure. He's out for eight games. Please don't tell me I have to buy any. I don't have to, but it just used all my injury cards. So now we actually have this squad. Now I love the starters. Bit nervous about the bench and it is a championship weekend. So the sweats are out, but hopefully we can get our first W with Embiid, Vanderbilt and Beasley on the team. So anyway, without further do let's get into the game i'm heated i just played this dude before i lost i'm beating him this time yep this is his team it's definitely better than mine but hey i didn't play my best last game i'm not going to deny it my opponent was talking trash the entire time so i have to win like i'm literally not losing that's just the one thing i'm telling you right now so let's get fouled
And the best part about going against the biggest trash talker is I don't care if I play so cheesy. I'm going to win no matter what. So, Carl Corver this time. Start us out strong with that three. And let's get this slam with D-Wade. Fortunately, last game, my best player was actually up. Oh, is that a good release? I don't think it is. I need to learn his release. I really need to learn Vanderbilt's release because it's just a little bit slower than most others, but we do get that steal straight after and Vanderbilt will get us that one. Come on, D-Wade. I need this one. And he got it for us. Get that out of here. We are playing the best defense we've played so far. And now we need to just finish off this play. Let's give it to Beasley. Beasley for the throw. Oh, Angus, come on. I just keep on forgetting how quick his release actually is. What a slam though. In good news though, I definitely will get used to it. I press the wrong icon there. I press the wrong icon. I had D-Wade wide open for three. You can see he's off-balling versus Vanderbilt. I'll take that then. I don't know if he's listening to himself. I think there's one person in this video game that needs to calm himself down. And I don't think it's me. Now, the one thing I will tell you that's definitely an issue is the fact that my bench sucks. My bench absolutely sucks. Did we block that? I don't even know, but that was insane defense once again. So I'm just nervous when my bench has to come on the floor and then we go against his like good players. So D-Wade though, yeah, I don't care. I'm doing it. <laughs> He's telling me to calm down. Oh, well, yes, we get a steal. As soon as my bench is on the floor, we get a stop. And now Chris Paul is going to get rejected. Who would have thought? I hate this card so much. I can't even tell you. He gets me a steal straight up. Yep, that's exactly what. That's how it worked. Bruh. Bruh. The funniest part is, is I'm just thinking about what is he saying off the mic? Like, you know, I, he's turning on the mic sometimes. What's he saying off the mic? Okay, now I'm actually worried. I'm begging you, please. I just think this last one. That's his last one. This is his last win. Okay? I just think this last Bruh. win. That's all I'm asking. All right, your team is godly. My team is... Bruh. I just think this last win, and then I can get off this game. Please. I just think this last win. Bruh. I mean, look, I have given wins to people in the past, but... There is no chance I'm giving this dude the win after what he's said to me and been saying on the mic. I'm sorry, bro, but I don't know what's going on. I am actually somewhat worried and I think I might get on the mic and just say, are you okay? But I don't know if he's going to attack me too much. That's the thing I'm a bit worried about now is I'm like, I, I don't know. Now, look, I'm now t not even too sure if I should really post this game or anything like that. That was a great dunk by Julia Serving, but like... I don't know whether or not to go on the mic and just say, bro, are you actually okay? Because he, I, I don't know. It's sort of confusing me a little bit, but after what he said to me last game, I usually do give wins out, but I obviously need this win for Anthony Davis. So I'm not just playing for fun. Sometimes when I'm playing for fun, yes, I would just give the win, but this game right here, I have to win it. I'm sorry. Especially because I only have like another hour to be able to actually get this card, Anthony Davis. So I have to. And uh, that's the only reason I'm playing the game right now. So I ain't going to give a free win for no reason. Julius, no, Dr. J. Yeah, that's not Dr. J. Dominic Wilkins. I mean, I haven't heard him say anything for a while. So I, I don't know. Maybe he's chilling out now, but this is just weird. This game is probably the weirdest game I've ever played. But as I was saying, he was saying things to me personally last game. So... I don't know how he expects me to then give him the win straight after, but hey, it's crazier things have happened. We'll take our two points. And the clock is running out. We're playing great defense. And just like that, we're up by 23 points going into the fourth. Embiid for three. Let's get it. Embiid. It's like he's fully calmed down now. I'm beyond confused. Beyond. Why do I have to be so... Bruh. So confused. He's just fully changed now. I guess I can learn my players' releases as we're running out the clock. There we go. Which should beat me last game. That's the weird part. Just chuck up this last shot and just like that, it does miss. Kind of feel like I should go on the mic, but I'm like, I don't really want to say anything. It's just been the most confusing game. But in good news, we finished our unlimited game. We won. That was... The weirdest game ever. Like, I'm just kind of 
in shock. <laughs> the team did play really well. I can't complain with how they played. Like, really, really well. Can't believe we lost to him the game before. I would just pretend like that didn't happen, though. And we got 1,250 MT. We will take that, absolutely. And we ranked up, too, which is very nice. We also leveled up in the seasons, which gives us three ascension picks. And what do we get from this is the real question. Anything good? Are we going to level up? Yep. Can we get to the top is the real question. We've got three picks. No is the answer on the first. On the second is no. And on the final pick, no. But now we just need to win a game of Triple Threat Online Co-op. And then we've completed this entire agenda. And look who my teammate is for this co-op game. You gotta love it. Anyway, let's ready up and get into this game. And just like that, we pull down the rebound. Shout out to Killsmoy YT for being my partner because we won. And it means now, finally, when we come over to our agendas, we have completed the one agenda we have been waiting for. Just like that, we get a slasher pack and we also get Amethyst Anthony Davis. Oh, that was such a grind because I just sucked, but we finally did it. And it means now when we look at this team, I am actually gonna move Joel Embiid to the bench just because AD is better. And yes, our starting center is gonna be none other than Anthony Davis. This card is such a beast and seriously is one of my favorite centers in the game. Meaning at the end, of episode three, this is our team. It looks absolutely insane. We added two amethysts and two diamonds to the squad in this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And that's pretty much all I gotta say. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.